Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Welcome back, everyone. We're here today with our Friday Review, one of my favorite shows of the week. I probably say that every single week, but it really is. I love being able to be on point for you know Monday through Thursday, going on really one topic, being able to do, I wouldn't say a deep dive, but you know a deep enough dive to really give you the crux of the matter, as well as some action steps as to be able to overcome all of the different issues that, that have arisen for that particular topic. So for example, this week, what I really wanted to share with you is the understanding that how you spend your time is your life. So we always think about like, oh, well, I want my life to be this. I want my life to be that. Okay. You can say all of those things, but it's your daily actions of what you do and how many hours you spend on each actual object that allows you to create a life in itself. So all of that, hopefully you checked out in episode 1907, episode 1908 was the real reason wheat and gluten are dangerous to consume. So I gave multiple Harvard-based studies. I gave really one of the foremost experts in uh, zonulin and all the different issues that it causes with intestinal permeability and why gluten really isn't a health food, no matter how much people try to justify it. So I uh, talked all about that on episode 1908. 1909 was about pandemic weight gain. I don't know if you know this, but the average person has gained close to 30 pounds, believe it or not, 29 pounds uh, in the United States. So these are United States-based statistics, but I'm sure it's not that much different in many Western-based countries uh, that have gone through over now 12 months of a lockdown. So I gave you um, the statistics just to let you know that, listen, like this is the majority of people. You're not alone. Now, here's what to do. Okay, let's let's get back on track. Let's take back our health uh, because this extra weight gain can lead to all the different types of causes of mortality. And then yesterday, a great PCOS-based podcast. So anyone really looking for more information on um, PCOS, uh, I had a really nice interview yesterday uh, with Talin and Sarak, and we had, uh, a, again, a great conversation talking about what each one of us does in our practice to help people with PCOS. So that is that. That leads us to today, our Friday review. I always love starting the show, of course. Today, I started it with a podcast recap, but I wanted to go over that. Just a couple updates, and I really only have one or two uh, for this week. Uh, so much more to come that we're working on. So earlier last week, I did talk about, and, and you know, I wanted to share with you that we, we I don't know if it was a celebration. It wasn't too much of a celebration. It was another day for me. But 1,900 podcasts, you know, 1,900 podcasts uh, under our belt. And I was saying this is like, listen, let's let's do something fun for when we hit episode 2,000. So I'd still love to hear from you. You know, what what can we do? What should we do? What would be fun to do to celebrate 100 days from last week? Uh, it's going to be the end of July. And I would love to be able to do something for the community. Uh, and I think, again, like I'm open to your ideas always and suggestions. So one thing I also want to share with you is that this month we have something really special at the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute. For anyone that enrolls in April, and today is the very last day to enroll for April. Uh, so if you've been thinking about becoming a certified health coach, I can't recommend this enough. There, it IHP, so becoming an IHP, the value is unbelievable. So it's not just in the health coach certification. The actual investment is so much less than many other leading certifications. And in my opinion, you get so much more. Typically, this is a $35,000 investment with a lot of other great organizations. Uh, we are a small fraction of that, uh, to be honest with you. And we do payment plans. But Regardless of that, what I want to share with you is this, is that anyone that enrolls this month, we're such big believers in our seasonal functional medicine detox. And I know there's so many people still in this community that have not yet done one. We're giving one away for free for anyone that enrolls in level one or the level one, two combination. And anyone that wants to learn more about how to read and help others with at-home functional medicine lab testing, well, that's our level two. So if you sign up for the combination, which is level one and level two, we'll also be shipping you out a minerals 
and metals test, a $299 value uh, once you pass level one. So that's on us. You get the detox and the at-home functional medicine lab test uh, when signing up today. Again, today's the last day for that. So head on over to integrativehealthpractitioner.org. All right. And over at Equal Life right now, I'm very excited about this. I really am. Is that this is this is directly asked for from our community? Can you create packaging that is not just in the plastic bottles? So you can see one right behind me. So right there. Now our plastic bottles are fully recyclable. So just so you know that they're easy to travel with. Uh, they're not going to rip open. Any of those great things. We use them for our detox. So again, they're fantastic and they're an industry standard. However. I, myself, and other people said, hey, can we also create a bag version of that? Now, it's so brand new because I'm literally just getting one this week um, that I don't have it here for you <laughs> three days before as I'm recording, recording this podcast. But what I'll do is I'll try to maybe show it up on the screen uh, of the new DNS bag, but also you can find them at equa.life, E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E. These are low waste bags now. So they're going to fold flat, uh, once you use them, and uh, we want to give you also a sustainable product that will allow you to hold your powder each and every month. And so we're actually giving away our brand new glass canisters that are etched with the Equal Life logo right on them. So it has a bamboo cap, so sustainable wood uh, with glass, obviously glass being sustainable, and then there's no leaching from glass. So really, really nice. You can keep this right on your counter, which is what we do. I have one for my daily fruit and vegetable blend, and I have one for my daily nutritional support. Uh, but we're giving you a glass canister in 1995 value completely free. And this is going to hold a full uh, 14 servings, which is what the bag is as well, of your daily nutritional support powder. So again, daily nutritional support is like if you don't use any other product, you use that one. Honestly, like because it's about 12 supplements in one. And it's for, what, about $2 a day, $2.50 a day. So it's, it's really getting all of those 12 supplements with a protein powder is a pretty great value. It honestly is. And it's that fail-safe product that's going to allow you to get the nutrients that you need for the day. So if you purchase two bags of the Daily Nutritional Support, uh, which is a one month supply, we're going to send you a glass canister completely free. All the details are over at equal.life, E Q U I dot L I F E. All right, let's get right into my product reviews. Really excited uh, to get to this one today. The book recap. It's just going to be a book recap because I talked about it on Tuesday. So episode 1908, I do hope that you listen to that podcast. Uh, the real reason wheat and gluten are quite dangerous. Not, I, I don't want to use the word dangerous. So let me pull that back. Uh, wheat and gluten are just not health foods. That's it. Do I have wheat and gluten every week? Absolutely. So I just want to, I just want to share that with you. Listen. I don't have celiac disease. They thought I did when I was much younger because I had so much inflammation in my bowels, but it just was not uh, celiac-based. If you have celiac, well, then you really should stay away from gluten and gliadin, the main proteins in wheat, uh, permanently. Now, I believe, because I've seen in my practice, that people who even have celiac, not everyone, but some people, once they get their gut healthy, they can be exposed to some gluten some wheat and they don't have a reaction. Now, you do that multiple days in a row, that's a problem. But for me, here's what I do. Once a week, maybe twice, usually just once, um, I have some gluten-based food. Typically, it's bread and pasta because I love bread and pasta. I grew up uh, in a Portuguese and Italian household and we had pasta every single Sunday over my grandmother's with her own homemade sauce. It was absolutely delicious. She made her own meatballs. We had our own sauce. It was phenomenal. Um, and then also growing up, it was probably like two, three days a week. Besides that, my mother made uh, just easy, you know, there was, there was uh, six of us in my family. So and, and dog. So she's, she's making um, meals that can obviously uh, be great to feed hungry kids and uh, a hungry family. So besides that, though, I just enjoy some pasta, some gluten. So here's what I did. I said to myself, once I get my body healthy, well, then I'm going to enjoy these things once a week, which is exactly what I do now. But I don't say that they're a health food, right? And I'm like, well, look at all the fiber in this pasta. No, I'm not looking at it that way. I'm looking at this like I enjoy it. But when you start to eat gluten more and more and more, think about the average person. Breakfast is what? Cereal, muffins, pastry, breakfast bar. 
wheat and gluten. What's lunch? Lunch is a piece of pizza or it's a bread, a sandwich, right? So more gluten. And then for dinner, what do you have? Well, you might have pizza. You might have takeout that has gluten or some breadcrumbs. So a lot of people are getting gluten two, three times a day. I mean, think about that. I mean, think about how much of one food you're consuming. And if it's not a fruit or vegetable, that can be quite dangerous, most likely. And so what I would say is that's the majority of the issues with you know our populations uh, is this much consumption, but even once a day is, is still not ideal. So the book Gluten Freedom is going to really talk about more if you really want to learn more about that. Um, you can find that uh, by Dr. Alessio Fasano. He's really one of the leading cutting edge doctors and has been for 20 years uh, on zonulin, intestinal permeability linked to gluten. So it's called... Um, it's just called Gluten Freedom. I'm going to link it up here today at stephencabral.com forward slash 1911. stephencabral.com forward slash 1911. Okay, next up, and this is going to seem random, and I have no doubt about it, but you know that I talked about this two weeks ago. So my new daily workout, episode 1896, hopefully less than that. Again, you can just go to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. That's all the previous 1910 podcasts that I've done. You can search it as well. But I've gotten into a new workout kick. And I'll talk about this coming up, but I got sidelined about a week ago already, just you know, two weeks into my, my 12 week program, I get sidelined. I'll talk about that. Uh, I'm back on track though. So that's really what it's all about. Again, like life gets in the way. Sometimes things pop up, you know? So, but anyway, I'm back on track. I'm excited. And I'll tell you though, this, and again, this is going to seem so random, right? But this just shows you, uh, where my mind's at. And I really try to keep, again, I try to keep as much as I can of a childlike interest in things and, 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 you know, love of just, you know, the little things in life. I'm not, you know, I'm not a big, uh, like big car guy or anything like that. I just, I like the little things and, and that's, that's what makes me happy, which is good as well. But these, this is again, going to seem random, but if you're into exercise or you try to get yourself motivated, I'm getting myself motivated for more runs that you want to get yourself some good gear. You don't have to, but it's a fun thing to do. And these socks are second to none. And so I want to link these up for you. And I just want to make sure actually, as we're doing this, that I give you the right brand name. And again, like I'm not a branding expert, but you should definitely write the name of your company on your socks or your product. So I, I know the name of this. I just want to make sure that I am not giving you the wrong name because I want to give credit where credit's due. And these are definitely uh, by far the best socks that I've worn in quite some time. And I know again that that's going to seem uh, strange, but it's, I'm telling you, let me show you. So these right here have the built in arch support. So you can see these black lines across the top. Okay, you can see the elastic bands around the front. There is ventilation right here through the front of the sock. And look at the spring to them. So these actually compress and pull the feet, the arch and the muscles together and it is snug on your foot. And then this little ankle piece in the back, oh, there's the brand name right there, uh, Balega. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this will go over the back of your sneaker. So when you are running or training, you don't get that rubbing of the back of your sneaker on your socks. So these have been pre-worn. I did wash them for the show. These ones I've been waiting to show you. I mean, just, I like, I like a little bit of color here. And when you look at this, I mean, these socks, uh, for men or women are pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty amazing. And again, you've got the ventilation right here. If you can see that, yep. you've got uh, the elastic arch support right here and you can just see how much that springs. They're super breathable. You can sweat in them. You can see the arch support on the bottom. And if you're looking just for, hey, like how can I get myself motivated to bike or to run? You put these on and there's a huge difference. I mean, I'll tell you right now, the cushion on the bottom of these are phenomenal as well. And I wear really, I wear flat sneakers um, to just work my, my ankles and my calves more. And um, it, it allows also for better running style too, because you're not kind of bounding on your heels. Uh, and so these socks are just, again, like absolutely fantastic. Again, random, I will always give you the most random, but this is a random recommendation. And if you buy a pair, again, like I don't, I'm, I'm going to give you an Amazon link. That's it. So I'm not, I don't own any stock in this company, but uh, you will not regret it. These are fantastic socks. So if you're someone that likes great socks 
well, these are great socks. Now, they're probably gonna be much more expensive than a normal pair of socks. They're $14, at least as of today, when you can typically, and I do, buy a three pack for like $9.99, but you'll notice the difference. I mean, there's a huge difference between these and a regular pair of athletic socks. All right, so that is that. That's my recommendation from the week. I'm telling you though, you can't go wrong. That you, you'll, you'll thank me by going out there and buying a pair of these socks. All right, so next up, I wanna go over my research for the week. This week, and I think, again, I just wanted to reiterate this. I actually, I already stole my own thunder for the end of the show. I didn't even know that this was one of my research that I wanted to give you. But 42 to 62%, so these are just enormous numbers, have gained at least 10%, at least 10 pounds during the pandemic, okay? So the the bottom end is 40, right? And 62%, up to 62% of people have gained 29 pounds in the United States over the last year. So I simply wanted to reiterate and share that stat with you again. So this is based on uh, the exact research. I went through exactly uh, the research with you. Again, this was on Wednesday's show up, so 1909 for pandemic weight gain. But just letting you know, listen, again, this is verified research. Uh, people have no, nobody has an interest in lying about how much weight they've gained. If not, people tell you less, right? Like, oh, I've gained less. Maybe I haven't gained 20. Maybe, maybe it's just 10, right? So people always kind of go lower number because they're not, you know, it's like when you ask somebody, hey, how much do you bench press? Well, they're always going to inflate that a little bit. I add another 10, 15, 20, 50 pounds, right? But when it comes to weight gain, people say, no, maybe, maybe it was seven pounds, you know, maybe it was six and a half. So I'm telling you right now, You're not alone. At least 50% of the population, closer to 60, 62%, have gained at least 10 pounds, and the average is 29 pounds in the United States. And it even said one out of 10, I believe. That was the research. One out of 10 gained 50 pounds or more. So I wanted to share that with you, but just letting you know that, again, there's so much that you can do. Every single Wednesday is my Wellness and Weight Loss Wednesday show. You can go back to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast, and it's all free. I literally take you step by step through all the different modalities that you could take to take the weight off. And I think that's really important because the closer you are to a healthy BMI, the less chance you have for dis-ease, the better quality of life you're going to have, the longer you're going to live. Now today, the last research study I want to share with you is exercise in pregnancy has actually been shown to be beneficial for infants. Okay. So this is really great to see because a lot of women are oftentimes maybe anxious or nervous about exercising while pregnant, or maybe even getting into an exercise routine for the first time. Because even 20 years ago, a lot of doctors would say, well, if you're not currently already exercising, don't start while pregnant. And I don't think that that's necessarily a great recommendation because exercising, while you shouldn't overdo it while pregnant, uh, does help with blood sugar, it helps with hormones, it helps with uh, digestion, so it helps with mood. So these are all really important things. So let me just read you this specifically. Uh, this was research out of East Carolina University in Greensville, North Carolina, and was published in Medicine and Science in sports and exercise. Okay, so newborns whose mothers did supervised moderate intensity, so remember moderate intensity, 50-minute exercise sessions three times a week had more advanced motor skills than infants whose mothers did not do the exercise sessions. Interesting, right? So these are moms while pregnant with their baby. Those that exercised actually had better neurological skills for those babies when the babies were born. So the effect was more noticeable in girls who at this age tend to have lower motor skills levels than boys. The differences were not large, but researchers suggest they could be enough to encourage growing children to be more active in the future. Researchers have speculated that the release of hormones during exercising, as well as improved blood flow due to aerobic exercise, may contribute to the difference found. So really interesting. Uh, Again, what does that equate to? Well, that equates to what? We're looking at about two and a half hours a week. Yeah, about two and a half hours a week, three exercise sessions. Our exercise sessions are typically 45 minutes that we've always done um, inside of our clinics and studios. And I think that's great. And we always do recommend for clients to do three times a week. Uh, The minimum we say is two. So finding a good personal trainer or good exercise program that allows you to do a Monday, Wednesday program, sorry, Monday, Wednesday, Friday program, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you know, 
or Sunday program. I think those are all great ways to do it. I like that every other day in between, it allows inflammation to go down. You can certainly do some aerobic cardio or some other types of forms of exercise, but for a good workout, you know, keeping that day in between uh, for the for the average person is going to be great. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. Again, if the show is helpful, I would love for you to be able to share that with anyone you believe it could serve. And of course, any reviews that you can leave uh, on uh, iTunes or your favorite media player is always appreciated. Thank you so much. Take care. And I'll be back tomorrow with another or our first of the weekend Cabral House Call. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Cabral Concept. Really appreciate your downloads, your subscribes, and your listens. And that's why before you go, I want to make sure you always know what we have going on, what's new, what's innovative over at equa.life. This is our online, our virtual integrative health-based organization where we help people literally in 30 countries all over the world to get access to at-home lab testing as well as the absolute purest and best nutritional supplements and protocols. And this week, we have a debut of a brand new product based on your suggestions. You wanted to be able to get that same daily nutritional support powder in a low waste bag rather than the jars that we typically ship them in. We listened to you. It's taken us about six months to work with the right manufacturers on these. And now we are debuting those low waste daily nutritional supplement based bags. This is the same great vanilla or chocolate based powder that contains all of your daily nutritional support. All of your vitamins, your minerals, your electrolytes, your detox factors, uh, fiber, plus 15 grams of a plant-based protein. This is completely vegan for those that are looking to be on more of a plant-based or vegan-based diet. And it's a great way to supplement a whole food diet. It's the number one product that people use in our practice to maintain health and also to increase their health, vitality, energy, and much more. So right now we are offering you, whenever you purchase those two, oh, it's this week, when you purchase the two bags, uh, which is one month supply of the daily nutritional support, we're actually going to give you our brand new free glass canisters. These are glass canisters that you can stow away in your cabinet, kitchen cabinet, or keep right on your countertop like we do right at home. The glass canisters are a great sustainable way in order to be able to save all of your nutritional supplement, your daily uh, nutritional support inside of that container with a sustainable bamboo based lid. Really nice, beautiful base design, 1995 value, yours completely free this week while supplies last on those glass canisters. Head on over to equa.life for all the details. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day.